Welcome to Draw Studio. Today we're going to learn some basic anatomy concepts. Let's get started. Muscles are a special tissue made of striated fibers that create movement in our bodies. To understand the movement of a specific muscle, we need to know the origin and insertion. An origin is a term that refers to where the muscle anchors. The insertion is the place the muscle acts on. We can simplify this by saying this is where the muscle starts and this is where the muscle stops. Muscles usually connect to bones via a tendon, which can be short or very long. The muscle fibers will contract to create movement, but the tendons don't contract like the muscle fibers, so they will act as strong cords that pull on the insertion points of the bone. If our brain sends an electrical impulse into our bicep, it will contract the long muscle fibers and get shorter, which pulls the lower arm up. If we have a muscle that has one action, we generally have one that will do the opposite, and another electrical impulse into the tricep will contract those fibers, pulling on the opposite side of the lower arm and will slam it back down. Watch here, and make note of how the calf muscle shortens as it contracts. This is essentially a mechanical movement, where a muscle pulls on a bone at a joint or pivot point. In general, a muscle will move the bone below. Here the calf group of the muscle sits on the lower leg, but it pulls on the heel and moves the foot. What we learn for artistic anatomy is a very simplified version that focuses on the way muscles affect the surface. For example, in an artistic anatomy textbook, you will usually see the gluteus medius, gluteus maximus, tensor fasciolata, and iliotibial band represented like this. But if we looked at a medical anatomy textbook, it would look more like this, with the iliotibial band having a much more complex set of attachments and making the form appear more confusing. The artistic anatomy version is also correct, but describes the forms more clearly. Most anatomy terms are named in Latin to act as a sort of common language, but there are also some Greek and other terms mixed in. It's important to understand the meaning of these terms because the landmarks and muscles are often named for their location, function, or shape. For example, the extensor group on the forearm has a muscle called the extensor carpi ulnaris, meaning the extensor muscle that inserts into the carpal mass on the side of the ulna. There is a contrasting one called the extensor carpi radialis brevis that inserts into the carpal mass on the side of the radius. It has the name brevis because it is the shorter of two muscles on the thumb side. As we continue our journey through anatomy, we will learn more of these terms to help us understand the muscles we draw. We also need to understand the anatomical position, which is the standard position the body is in, so we have a consistent way to talk about the direction of our anatomy. The anatomical position is the figure standing upright, arms straight, palms and feet facing forward. The front is called the anterior view, and the back is the posterior view. There's a line running down the center of the body called the medial line, or midline or center line. This midline is considered the home of our body. If something is positioned away from the medial line, it is considered lateral. The top of the figure is superior, and the bottom of the figure is inferior. If a part of the body extends out, the farthest part is the distal end, and the closest to the body is the proximal end. This anatomical position will be critical when we learn more specific origins and insertions of the muscles. Anatomy can be a challenge to learn because it's very technical, but it is finite, which means eventually you will memorize it and it will be part of your knowledge. If you're just starting out, learn it in small stages. You can get more complex and specific as you go. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to go to drosh.com for more information on these topics and many more. If you want to see more videos like this, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.